Hello everyone, in this lesson we're going to look at steps to protect your computer and files by enabling the built-in anti-ransomware protection on Windows 11. Microsoft Defender Antivirus is your default security solution to protect your computer against viruses, spyware, rootkit, and many other types of malware. However, you probably didn't know that the anti-malware solution also includes a feature called Control Folder Access to protect your files against ransomware but you need to enable the feature manually. So here's how to enable the ransomware protection on Windows 11. First, open Start and look for Windows Security. And then open the app. Then go to Virus and Threat Protection. And then at the bottom, you will see the ransomware protection feature. And then click the Manage Ransomware Protection option. And here, simply turn on the Control Folder Access toggle switch. And that's it. Microsoft Defender Antivirus will now monitor the protected folders as applications try to modify your files. If a suspicious activity occurs, you will get a notification about the problem. Now, if you want to know which folders are protected by default, you can click on Protected Folders. And as you can see, the documents, pictures, video, and music folders are the ones that are protected by default. Now, if you had a different location or a different drive that you want to protect against ransomware, you can click the add a protected folder button and then just simply select the folder or location and that will be added to the list you can always remove them if you don't need it anymore now the uh, security feature has a basic understanding of the apps that are allowed to make changes to your files however sometimes an app that you trust might get blocked if this is the case, you're going to need to manually allow a particular app. And to allow a trusted app through the ransomware protection feature, you need to click the allow an app through control folder access option. And in here, just click the add an allowed app. And if the app was recently blocked, you're likely to see it on the recently blocked apps list. And here you will select it to add it to the list so the system will now detect it as malicious when you using your computer. Or you can select the browse all apps and here you will just browse through the location where you have installed that application that is getting blocked and then you will just simply select the executable and then that will be added to the list. You can always come back to the same page and then select the application and click the remove button to remove it from the list. Now, if the feature detects any suspicious activities, it will be logged here on the block history page. Because I just turned on the feature and nothing is going on the computer, you won't see anything on the recent actions. Now, if for some reason you want to disable the ransomware protection on Windows 11 because you're getting a lot of false positive or it's just not working the way you're expecting it, just open start and look for Windows security open the app, go to virus and threat protection, and then at the bottom, click on manage ransomware protection option, and then simply turn off the control folder access toggle switch. And that's it. In the case that your computer got infected or something happened and your account was connected with a Microsoft account, you may still be able to recover some of the files from your OneDrive account, as you can see right here. Just click the view the files and that will open OneDrive and you might be able to get some of the files back. And that's it. That's how you enable, manage, and disable the ransomware protection feature built in on Windows 11. Remember to like the video, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.